Well, I'll talk about custom rollout configuration. When your existing out of box configurations, rollout configuration are not enough to perform your desired task, then you have to create new rollout configuration, custom rollout configuration. But there's two scenarios where you should consider it. Once when you have a synchronization action which is available with AEM. So in that case, you just need to create a rollout configuration and you do not need any code. But if your synchronization action which you are looking for is not available out of the box in AEM, then you have to write code means backend code to create synchronization action first and then rollout configuration. So in this tutorial, we'll talk about the first scenario and in coming tutorial, we'll see how to create a custom rollout synchronization action as well. First, let's understand scenario. So in my language master, I have a component called card where I display the flag of a country. Okay. In language master, I in that component, I used a image, a generic image or any, any uh, country's flag. But when I move that content means that page, when I rolled out that page to country specific site, then that card or that flag should be displayed as per the country. But in our case, as I used a one image in language master, that image will be displayed in the country specific site as well in live copy. So let's understand how you can fix that. So what we'll be doing here, first let's understand the uh, this DAM folder. So what I'll have, I have a specific folder in DAM, means assets for a country specific. I'll be having a folder called INDEFR for respective countries. And if I using a generic image, means the common images, for that I'll be having a folder called master. So I have a component which has title, description and a thumbnail, right? The path of the asset and I have this uh, multi-field as well. We'll see the use of multi-field uh, in second part of this tutorial. So I used a image called flag, which actually has the logo of this channel. So when I roll out this page, let me roll out this page. So what happened, the same image or same asset will be displayed or rolled out to country specific site. But I, what I want, I need a, a, a flag of the specific country. Just for the namesake, I change the name because we are talking about the flag, national flag. So I just rename it to flag and let me roll out this. Continue. So when I roll out, if you see, if I go here and check this, uh, let me open any live copy. So each country, uh, each live copy has the same image. This is France, India and Germany. So it's the same. But what I need, I should need a flag here specific to country. So how now let's understand how you can create a custom rollout configuration and how your custom rollout configuration can resolve this issue. So to custom rollout configuration, you should create a node uh, of type CQ colon rollout config. And inside that you must have your actions, which I have already explained. So simple thing is you can copy paste node from existing. This is the you know developers way. You can copy paste node from existing rollout configuration and just rename it as per your need. Or let me show you where it is, where the out of box configurations and where you need to create it. You should check libs, MSM and WCM and then rollout config. So these are four out of box generic use. There are others like you have catalogs and all. So what you can do if you see here, any rollout configuration is of type CQ rollout config. And under this, these had the actions. So actions, one node per action. And this action is CQ colon live sync action, right? So what you can do, you can create it here, create from here a uh, simple, and you can copy here and create that node in apps. So what you can do, just copy this. This is the simple way, right? Or you can create one by one as well or you can create overlay as well, just option and you will find a overlay node and you need to give your path where do you need. But here you, you can give only apps, you cannot, oh yeah, you cannot give complete path. So it's better to copy, let me copy this. 
and go to apps and msm your own folder just copy paste you got it now just rename it so i created one for de this is type of trigger is rollout so this configuration will be triggered on rollout and i am adding one synchronization action which is called edit property so as i said we have this action we will be using it so what this action does it will take the property it will take the value from the source and it replace the value with this so it these are divided by hash hash is a kind of delimiter first first is your property name whatever you have in your dialog this one means the first argument second argument is the source what you want to replace and third one is what the expected value so these are these are the regexes if you say whenever it will find this master it will replace that with de okay so what we are doing because our folder name is de so we have a same image there so this property path will update this this configuration will update it so this will be doing for de let me create two more for india and france and then we will use these rollout configuration in live copies so i created these three rollout configurations and title is different geeks rollout config france india and this so now what i have to do as soon as you create this these rollout configuration will be available in your uh, drop down configuration drop down so let me show you go here open and if you go here let me if you check here in this it should come in your see this it came okay now i used it let me use standard as well here okay because other tasks are performed by standard save it same way add it for other live copies as well respective rollout configuration means for france or in germany whatever we created okay so i have added but before i rolled out you must understand in each respective folder i already have a image with the same name means flag.png so what will happen when i roll out this path will update from master to specific country so let me roll out this page now again this one okay it's already opened right if i rolled out again for all live copies so what should happen now because path should be updated because of that rollout configuration so if you see that this image has been updated so let me refresh this as well okay so it's updated for germany as well so what happened let me show you here from crxd so this was my page if i open this card you will see this path okay this path thumbnail is the name of property and it try to identify master because i mention here in this rollout configuration uh, let me show you okay it try to find thumbnail and then master so what happened it will come here take this property identify find master and replace this with de okay for germany and replace this for i n for india whatever i mentioned in my rollout configuration that was the pretty simple example now let's see one more thing okay so as i said it is a regex so what you can do you can manipulate any property so what i'm doing here let's say i added a something here book name or something so what i want as soon as i uh, roll out this page i want a suffix called country name it's let's say if i say like this uh, book one or book something let's say book so what should be property when it's roll out i should see book underscore india book underscore something means you can play around with your properties so what let me do it subject okay that's enough now let's save it okay if i roll out so how it will happen so for that you have to go back again to your rollout configuration and same so if you see here it support multiple properties 
what you can do you can just commas you can add any number of the properties using comma separate add a comma so what i'm doing here book name book name is my proper means uh, name of my dialogue dialogue property okay what i'm doing after hash i'm just checking i wrote some regex regular expression i'll not explain regular expression as part of this tutorial so what i'm doing i'm looking for whatever the property is i'm getting that property and i'm replacing with underscore germany if it is a germany and the same way underscore india if it is in india okay so let me roll out this so once i roll out this now okay so when i roll out this what should happen this property should be updated and you should see here you should see here am india and am germany and france respectively so let me roll out this page so you will see the property has been updated because i'm not displaying those in the front end let me show you at the back end okay in crxd so if you see come here uh, let's say it's a india and this is my component this is my multi-field dialogue node if you open here you will see this has been updated book hyphen india let me zoom a bit and same way for germany english it must be let me refresh a bit okay flag this and card multi-field node and this has been updated so that way using regular expressions you can play around with your properties to get your required result i hope you understood if you have any question please do comment this was the simplest example of need of custom rollout configuration